How long do zucchini flowers open? This zucchini flower started opening just before three in the morning and closed back up at 9.30. It was open for just under seven hours. A couple weeks before we captured two flowers opening on this zucchini plant, one is female and the other is male. This is the ideal situation for pollination. The female flower was already starting to open when I set up the time lapse at 11 p.m. in the evening, while the male flower started opening just after 1 a.m. At 7.30 in the morning, we picked the male flower to hand pollinate the female flower to, I won't say ensure, but to make it more likely that we would get a zucchini out of the deal. The female closed by 12 noon, 13 hours and 36 minutes later and the male flower was very tasty. Over a couple months, I took several more time lapses of zucchini flowers opening and out of curiosity. Because it never gets old to see these beautiful flowers open and close, along with the ants doing their thing. So what did we learn here? We now know there's a window of only one morning for a female zucchini flower to get pollinated in order to produce a zucchini they don't open again. The flowers only open in the early morning and close by early afternoon. But with real data on when the flowers open and close, we can start predicting on when the flowers will close. And this may really make a difference on if you're going to get any zucchini fruit from your plant. Hear me out, and this is where it gets nerdy. So I have a spreadsheet on all of the data points from the time lapses that I took. When the blossoms opened and when they closed so that we could calculate when the flowers were open. And you can see there's quite a bit of variance in here. Even though as time goes on, the temperatures are getting hotter, there is still quite a bit of difference in between how long each blossom is open. Now, looking at the temperature at when these blossoms opened, there's quite a bit of variance. There's a 20 degree delta in there. Can't pull anything out of that, but what's really interesting is the temperature when the blossoms closed. So you can see here, we are in the low to mid eighties with this as an outlier, but for the most part, it seems like once you're hitting the eighties, that's when your flowers are gonna start closing. The low daily temp and the high daily temp, I pulled out just, just for entertainment purposes to see how low we were in the, in the evenings, as well as how hot we were getting why hand pollinating might not work or any kind of pollination might not work. Along with just for fun, I put the sunrise and the sunset. That doesn't seem to have any impact, but the temperature at close really is an interesting data point because now we know whenever that time of day comes along, when you're hitting the low 80s, that's when your blossoms are gonna close. That's when your window is closing for pollination. Really interesting point here. There was a time lapse with two flowers in it and they closed at the exact same time. What I'm intending to do this fall, because unfortunately it's, I mean, it's Arizona. This is the low desert of Arizona. It is hot. So I'm not taking it personal that all of the zucchini plants died, both the yellow and the black beauty zucchini died within two days of each other. All eight of them, they're in the in-ground bed as well as in some raised beds could be something that I did, but it could very possibly be that it's too hot. I mean, once we're getting into this temperature, the pollen isn't really viable anymore. We will try again in the fall. I'm very excited to take a lot more time lapses to see if the data sets match. If you're curious about where I got the data from, this is all from Weather Underground. They have a lot of great information that you can pull out for your own data sets. I mean, they have everything where you can match when the blossom opened, when it closed, along with all the different temperatures and when sunset is. It's fantastic. So it's a wealth of information you can pull out and create your own data sets. And if you do, I would love to hear in the comments what your findings are. Even if you don't and you just know what your numbers are, we're pretty new to gardening here. So it's really fun to pull out this information to see like, why did they die? And why did I not get zucchini at certain times when we and pollinated. Please add any knowledge that you already have in the comments because there are other people, not just myself, of course, I would love to hear from you, but I know that there will be other people looking at the comments because we all know some videos are, the comments are better than the video. Here's one last gotcha. Despite hand pollinating between male and female flowers, 
the temperature may be too hot for the pollen to be viable. There are other factors at play here. I have a 50% shade cover on my garden beds. There are other environmental factors such as humidity, how much sun is hitting the actual garden bed, soil, and other factors that really do have an impact on the results. If you are seeing male and female flowers, but you're not getting any zucchini, or if you don't know the difference between a male or a female flower, check out this video next, because knowing the difference and hand pollinating improves your chances at actually eating zucchini. In the end, that's all we want, unless you just wanna eat zucchini blossoms, which I'm actually considering making a bed dedicated to just that. Or check out this video next, if you want a preview on what happens when you hand pollinate a zucchini flower. Thanks for watching.